Let's talk about a real pain in your butt. I mean a literal pain in your butt. That can be SI joint pain. SI what? The sacroiliac joint. That's where your sacrum meets your pelvis. This is also called the ilium, which is the eye and sacroiliac joint. Some research suggests that up to 25% of all back pain comes from the SI joint. And what's even worse is that there are doctors out there that don't even believe SI joint pain exists. I'm gonna get on my soapbox for one minute. If you have a doctor that doesn't believe your pain, you need to find a new doctor. The symptoms of SI joint pain are typically pain in the lower back and buttocks. It can also radiate into your groin and it can even radiate down your leg. Sitting or standing for a long period of time may make the pain worse as well as going up and down stairs. It's hard to diagnose and is often misdiagnosed and it can even be mistaken for other causes of lower back pain. I have seen so many patients that have been misdiagnosed as well as patients that have undergone unnecessary back surgery for sacroiliac pain. Things that make SI joint pain worse are usually standing for long periods of time, sitting for long periods of time, unequal weight bearing such as going up and down stairs or getting in and out of a car. Even impact activities such as running can push your leg into your pelvis and aggravate the SI joint. What causes it? Patients with inflammatory or autoimmune conditions can often suffer from SI joint pain. Wear and tear from arthritis can cause this pain as well as injury to the joint such as a fall or even a car accident. The most common thing I see with SI joint pain is pregnancy. I had it both times when I was pregnant and it was horrible. That's because these joints become lax during pregnancy to allow the pelvis to open up bigger for the baby. So how do you get diagnosed? Make sure you go to a doctor that understands the SI joint and treats SI joint pain. If you ever hear a doctor say that that's not a real problem, find another doctor. There are several different maneuvers we can do to stress the SI joint and that may help in the diagnosis. Sometimes x-rays or MRIs can be helpful, but I will tell you that most often MRIs and x-rays are normal. That's why you have to see somebody that knows how to recognize the problem. Well, doctor, how do we treat it? The mainstay of treating SI joint pain is conservative treatment. Stretching and strengthening exercises for your pelvis can be very helpful. I'm going to show you five stretches to help with SI joint pain. The first is a standing quadricep stretch and you'll hold 30 seconds for each side. The second is a hamstring stretch. You can get on the edge of a chair and lean forward to feel a gentle stretch on each hamstring. Alternatively, you can put each leg on a wall and hold that hamstring stretch for about 30 seconds each leg. The third stretch is called a press up and here you'll want to lie on your stomach and raise your upper body to your elbows and hold for about 15 to 30 seconds. If you can't get quite this high, you can come up to your elbows for a nice gentle stretch. The fourth is a piriformis stretch where you cross one leg over the other and gently pull your knee toward your chest. Hold this for 10 to 15 seconds on each leg. A single knee to the chest is also a good nice stretch and you'll want to hold this for 30 seconds on each side. You can even do double knees to chest. The last maneuver is a gentle supine twist. This is when you lay flat on your back and let your legs fall out to the side. This can easily cause a release of the SI joint with instant relief. You'll want to hold this for 30 seconds on each side. Injections into the SI joint can often help and also help make the diagnosis. Ablations to the SI joint may also be an option. Surgery to fuse the SI joint can often be a definitive treatment in those that have failed all conservative treatment. If you've experienced SI joint pain and have any other suggestions, drop a comment in the comment section and stay tuned for more content like this.